What's going on guys, just wanted to release a quick fix for my micro raid farm in case you guys are running this inside of your Minecraft Bedrock Worlds. The issue comes from the changes made to the Ravagers. As you can see, everything but the Ravagers work just fine. So if we have these guys that are regular height being fed into the Trident Killers, as soon as they go into that Trident Killer, they're going to be killed very quickly. However, whenever it's time to summon some Ravagers in here, these guys are going to swim on top of the water and they are going to get stuck inside of a too tall area since they are now 2.2 blocks tall. This is not just going to keep them from moving, but it's also going to break some of the leaf blocks that are spawn proofing that they would not otherwise be able to break. So the first step to fixing this is to make sure that the farm is completely off. That includes the Trident Killer directly below, that way you don't get Bad Omen whenever you are fixing this. You also want to make sure that you don't currently have Bad Omen, that way you don't have any raids spawning in here whenever you're fixing it. The next step that you want to do is remove the entire layer of roof that is directly over top of the entire spawning area. Once you have all that removed, it should look just like this. Now you're going to go to this corner here, remove these four leaf blocks, and we're going to bring this all the way down until we have water flowing over these. You could change these out with some glass blocks if you wish. And then we are going to build this up one more. Then we are going to grab us some signs. And then we can place two signs down here and two signs down here. Grab you some water, and we're going to place one source block of water right in that corner. Next, we're going to be turning our attention to the trident killers. What we need to do is pick up all four of our impelling five tridents here, and then we're going to remove these pistons on the outside. We're going to remove this one on the left, and then place in two solid blocks here, and this one on the right, and replace two solid blocks here. Next, you're going to grab your pistons. You're going to come up to this block here and place down a piston here, and place down a piston here. Then you're going to do the same thing on this side, placing a piston here and a piston here. Next, you can grab your solid blocks again, and we're going to place down a solid block here and here, and one here and here. Then you want to grab you some impelling five tridents. We're going to throw one trident in here and one trident inside of here. Place down a temporary block here with a piece of glass on top, a piece of glass here, and a piece of glass here. Remove that temporary block down below. Now we're going to grab our solid blocks, and we are going to start on this block right here. We're going to place down a block here and drag it all the way across until it meets up to the wall. And we're going to do the same thing right here, all the way over. Then we're going to go to this side down here, and directly below this piece of glass, we're going to place down a solid block there. Bring this all the way over, and then again on the top as well. Make sure that you have a one block gap for all of the water to flow through on the bottom of each side. Next, we're going to come over here to the left hand side and place down a solid block in all of these locations. Be careful not to pull your tridents out of your trident killer down below. So you want them all inside of these locations here. Then we are going to work our way around this farm, removing all of these leaf blocks inside of this area here. You're going to replace all of these with solid blocks all the way around. And then you're going to bring this up by two. Next, we can come down here and place down a temporary piece of glass here, a permanent piece of glass there, remove that temporary piece. Then we're going to bring this across by two, and then two more on this side as well. Then you could take four more of your impelling five tridents and throw it on the head of each one of these pistons all the way around, being careful not to remove any of the tridents out of here. Next, take your solid blocks, and we are going to wrap your solid blocks all the way around through here on top. Make sure you don't place a solid block in any of your trident killer holes. And then we're going to take solid blocks again and place some solid blocks on top of the glass here. We are going to go over here on this corner and we're going to bring this up just on the one half side unless you want to go all the way around. Then we're going to take leaves and we're going to cover up all of these exposed spawnable blocks with leaves on top. Next, we're going to be turning our attention to the redstone side of the farm. We're going to come over here to the back side. We're going to remove these two blocks here. We're going to place down a observer observing that block with the output arrow facing straight up with a dropper on the back of that piston. Then on the right hand side of that, we're going to remove this leaf block here and place another observer observing this dropper here with a solid block directly behind it. Then we can go to the left hand side here. We are going to remove these four blocks. Then we're going to grab our droppers again, place down a dropper here and a dropper here. Then we can get two more observers and we're going to place an observer observing this dropper here and a observer observing this one here as well. Both of the arrows should be facing towards the left hand side. Then we're going to remove these two leaf blocks, one here and one here and place down a solid block here and a solid block here. Then you can take your leaves and cover all of these up to make sure that they are spawn proof. 
And for these two leaf blocks here, I'm going to change these out to solid blocks just to make it look consistent. There, that looks much better. Next, we need to focus on the outer ring of leaves here on the middle of the farm. We're going to remove all of these going all the way around on this one wide area. Then we're going to replace this with another wall that matches the wall that's directly next to it going all the way around. And once you've done that, then you're just going to place some leaves on top of it to keep all of the raiders from spawning on top of it. And once you've done that, that should fully conclude all of the repairs for your micro raid farm. Let's go ahead and test it out. We are just about to have a raid spawn in. And as you can see, they're all going to be pushed in just like before. And these guys are going to find their way into the corner where they're going to go directly into the trident killer. And now we're about to have some ravagers spawn in so we can see what happens with the ravagers inside of the trident killer as well. And that's it. That's all that you're going to need to do in order to fix your micro raid farm. The raid factory, if you have that raid farm, I'm going to be releasing a fix for that. Also, there is a few things that need to be changed on it. However, it's not too big of a deal. It just mainly has to do with the leaves and bringing the walls up. That way the ravengers can't break the leaves. One thing that you might notice with this is that the ravengers do still meander about. And I think that Mojang is still in the process of tweaking these. I do have an active bug report because the ravengers do actually float on top of the water. And they don't really get pushed around by the water very well. So I do have a bug report. If you want to upvote that bug report, then I'll have that link down inside the description below. However, whenever they fix that issue, it should not require any additional changes to the farm. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.